Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dave from Apple Unlimited. Today we have a very simple project. Um, we're going to take the uh, MacBook Pro 2012. We're going to update the RAM. Uh, right now it's got 4 gigs. We're going to up, up it to uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, the first thing you want to keep in mind is you won't always need that much RAM, but if you do, this video is going to show you how to do it. Uh, it's very simple. It takes about 10 minutes. Uh, anybody can do it if you follow these steps. So here we go. So the best way to check to see how much RAM you have is to go up here to the Apple, go to about this Mac, and then switch on the memory, and then it will show you that mine has 4 gigs, or 2, two gig sticks at 1333 MHz DDR3. That's what you have to buy to replace it, the higher number of gigs. Okay, so obviously once you flip it over, you have to have it turned off and unplugged. That's real important. Um, all you're going to need, aside from the new RAM, uh, is a little screwdriver. And pretty much any little one will work. I recommend putting them in a little solo cup. Uh, just to keep them separate. Okay, I just went ahead and removed all the screws. The one thing you want to keep in mind, there are three screws that are longer than the rest. Uh, and if you look at where the screen attaches, it's going to be these three right here. Okay? One, two, three. So be sure and keep that the same when you put it back together. Just going to lift up the back plate. There we go. Now you want to unplug the battery. Uh, this is pretty easy to do. Just pull up right here. Uh, once you have that removed, you can take the RAM out. Uh, this is the same little RAM tray that the iMac has, that the Mac Mini has. Um, where you just pop it up, like this. And from there, you remove the tray. And remove the tray. Alright, and in goes the new RAM. I flipped it around. Uh, be sure that it is very secure. If it's not all the way in, it's not going to work right. Okay, once it's firmly pushed in, just pop it back down and it should be pretty obvious that it's connected. Uh, let's make sure that it's all the way in. Okay, now I'm gonna reconnect the battery. Push that back down. Uh, that's it. Now let's go ahead and reconnect the back plate. All right, and now we have everything screwed back in. Now's the moment of truth. Flip it around. And make sure it works. Um, you will hear a series of beeps if they're not inserted correctly right here. Um, if the computer starts up, it'll work. There we go. And you always want to double check just to make sure. So go back to Apple about this Mac. There it is in all its glory. 16 gigs, 1333 megahertz, DDR3. And it works. Got two eights. All right, there you have it. I uh, hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.